F1 2016 review. What's it really worth? F1 2016 is a racing game based on the 2016 Formula One season. And today, I'm going to be doing a full review of the game and give you my thoughts on what was good, what was bad, and what I think this game is really worth. F1 2016 is a simulator racing game. That's what it is. With the F1 cars and the NASCAR racing shit. I don't even know what they're called NASCARs, but they're pretty cool. <laughs> and the game, this game looks really good. Like, I'm surprised it looks this good on a console. Because that's what I played it on. I played it on PS4. And it looks really good. Like, uh, the cars, all the cars look like spot on. There's... When you're racing, there's environmental hazards. Like, well, I wouldn't say hazards, but like, it's like the weather changes, which changes the shape of the race. Because one minute it could be sunny, and then the next, when you're racing, it could start getting cloudy and a little bit rainy, make the track more slick. And then you're you're racing, and you're going top speed, going 200 miles an hour, and boom, you mess up your position. When you're jockeying for position, what's gonna happen? That's what's gonna happen. The weather. It's going to mess up your shit. <laughs> so that looks really good. But yeah, all in all, the graphics for this game looked surprisingly really damn good. Like, almost up to PC standards. I mean, not quite, but pretty damn close. Like, it looks damn good. Now, as for the music, there's like, it's there's not really actually music in the game. There is sound effects, I would say. Like, I, I guess there's like a little kind of tone at the beginning of the game but it's not really much so you got like uh the the sound effects from the cars which sounds amazing by the way when the car's revving up and you're racing at like 200 miles an hour and the engine's just going oh yeah that sounds good like it sounds so real it's like damn what the hell and it's so loud like you don't even need it's just like you gotta turn the shit down on your tv turn the volume down <laughs> get that bar going down and you still hear that shit. Damn, it sounds really good. Real, really realistic. And I mean, uh, what else? And then you got your pit crew too. Your pit crew talks to you, which is, I guess, an interesting take. I don't know if it's like that in other like F1 games. But, I mean, it's something I've never seen before. You might have seen it. I haven't, seen it. I haven't played many race simulated games, but hey, it's something. <laughs> So it's kind of cool when you hear that, when you're racing, your pit crew is actually trying to help you out. And they're talking to you, trying to tell you what to do when you mess up, or how to change your style to get first place. But that's pretty much it for like music and sound effects, I guess. So for content, there's a career mode, which is online or offline. Championship racing, which you can make yourself your own little tournament. Quick race, in case you just want to go into one quick little race. And you can edit your settings and how you want it. Multiplayer, so you can battle or, or race, I should say, against online people. Time trial. Uh, time trial. Damn, that didn't sound right. <laughs> and there are tutorial videos, which teaches you how to play for any newcomers to the series. And there's 21 tracks that you can choose from. Actually, I don't even think you get to choose. I think it's just randomized when you do like quick race and all that shit. But there's 21 tracks, and they all look fantastic. Now, for the gameplay, for newcomers of the series... Or if you just new and pick it up, rent it, I don't know. Whatever you do when you're playing the game. It's not that easy for new people. I'll admit, even when I played it at first, I was like, huh. But, you know, me in the simulator games, you know, apparently can't play them that good. I don't know why. <laughs> but that's what it is. So it's really realistic racing. So you, you got to play by the rules. Like, if you're doing championships and all that, you got to play by the rules. So there's like... There's penalties if you don't if you go too much out of the course. Like try to take a shortcut, they'll penalize you. You believe that shit? When I'm racing, you you gonna penalize Chris Chrome? I don't think so. <laughs> so there's that. Like and if you hit another car, which you can do, which is fun, they'll penalize you too, may give you a penalty. Um, and yeah, if you hit another car, that's so much fun. You screwed up the AI or even other players. They get so bad. <laughs> Especially when you just you're going 200 miles, you just see boom. <laughs> you. Merge really quick, hit him, boom, he starts spinning out, going all over the damn place. 
I mean, wheels are flying all over. Like, holy shit. And then they drop the card on you. Bam, disqualified. It's like, oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. But they got that feature. So, and I mean, that, that can happen to your car, too. Like, if you're racing along, you hit a wall, your wheel gets damaged, and you go slower. So, there's vehicle damage as well. So, it's all, like, real, realistic racing. I mean, you can also fix your shit up with the pit crew. So, I mean, most racing games, you can do that like this. You can go into pit crew, they fix up your car, and you go on, go on your way. That's what you can do. Um, like, I mean, it's pretty cool, honestly. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, you could also change, like, if you don't like that, you are able to change it in settings on how you want it. But, mm, mm, it's it. I don't know. They don't give you too many options. You can't change too much, but you can, like, maybe put more penalties so you don't, you know, take, like, three and you're disqualified. Because I think that's what it is. If you get three penalties, you're disqualified automatically and the game's done. So, you can change some of it in the settings. But they have one mode, which, if for some reason you do get, um, you're about to get disqualified, you can fix it, or if you're getting a car crash, it's like a rewind. Because I played on the PS4, so the little touchpad, if you press that, it, like, rewinds a bit. <laughs> I'm backing up, hitting the green screen. <laughs> you can back it up and fix yourself up, and then try to get back and not hit the guy. So there's also that, instead of, I guess, checkpoints, because, I mean, if it's pretty much like... I wouldn't say permadeath, but it's like you don't want to be in a championship race or, you know, you're, you're not playing online with other people because I'm assuming you can't do that online because that would be just chaos. <laughs> but if you're playing like a championship against the computer and you want to win and you just do a little fuck up, I mean, you can fix yourself and it's all good. So, but other than that, like the racing is pretty tight. It's all good. I honestly couldn't find anything really wrong with it. Everything about it is pretty spot on and it's pretty good for a racing simulator game all right so now let's get down to the final verdict on what i think this game is really worth so it's 50 dollars in the u.s and it's 70 in canada so for everything you get amazing graphics realistic environment realistic car engine sounds and cars many game modes hard for new players, tutorial videos for new players, great online rivalry multiplayer. All right, so for my final verdict, like for a racing simulator, I haven't played many of these in my lifetime, but this one all in all wasn't too bad. Once I got a feel for it and I actually knew how to play and you know, wasn't like an idiot going all over the damn place, it wasn't that bad, it was pretty good. So for the price tag of 50, 70 dollars, honestly say it's it's worth it really like the game is pretty good for a racing game now if you're looking for something more like gran turismo or like a need for speed well i know those are both kind of different but uh like well need for speed hot pursuit i guess but don't go for this Th those are like arcade racing games this is a simulator it's completely different it's really realistic how many times i gotta say that shit <laughs> but it is and it is a little harder to you know actually play the game and enjoy it. but if you like games like that where it's more serious and you actually have to play like legit then this is a game for you and i mean i still enjoy it even though like i prefer more gran turismo and need for speed and all that but it is still a good game regardless so i i do personally think that this game is totally worth the price tag all right so i'm gonna end my review there of f1 2016 and i hope you enjoyed now i do this every week or i got a brand new review up every thursday and i got a gameplay that goes with that review now i'll put a card up top well, this is going to try youtube's being a little weird right now but i'll try to put a card up top so you guys click on that and see the gameplay that goes with this review and if you're new to my channel i'll put the subscribe button on the side even though it should already be there technically and my Twitter, so you can follow me on Twitter, and if you click on the subscribe button, you can check in the description too, in case you're on your phone, you know, bring it to my channel, you can check out all my reviews, all my gameplays, all my game trailers, all the rest of the shit I do, <laughs> you can check them all out. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think of F1 2016, and of my review, I would love to know what you gotta say about it. You know you gotta do, and you know how to do it. Peace out, guys. Cha. So, first, I mean, I was actually surprised that I like this game. <laughs> I know, I know. That's kind of ridiculous. 
I like the golf game. I mean, I like mini putt games. Okay, 